My name is Hansu Park, and I'm gonna talk about a simple question. Just a simple question before I start my speech. So where are we? Where are we now? Hey, school? School? Well, where are we? Your book? No, no, no. Yeah, classroom, maybe. We are in school. That's right. That's right. We are in school. So, what are we doing for school? What are we doing here? We are studying here. We are coming here for study. That's the keyword. That's the keyword. <sighs> sorry, sorry. Why we, why we study? We can answer because we are trying to know something. School existed for meeting our desire to know something. That's why school has been existed in the whole human history. But there are one simple policy which is opposed that simple reason. You know what? That simple reason is the main reason of the school. But this policy is opposed that main reason. Unfortunately, it's the 1% scholarship student. Yeah, you know? Uh, somebody did already. One percent scholarship student. Why did this wrong? I'm gonna tell you <coughs> what it is. It is available for students who get a first grade on the math and foreign language and language. If they became a uh, one percent, one percent, they get a whole tuition fee, free, free whole tuition fee in a school life. And also, it is it's include, include the graduate school. And also, they get a free laptop, and they get a free dormitory, and they get uh, so many. And <laughs> if they became IP students, they <coughs> get $30,000 per year just for studying. And also, if, became, if they come back to our school, they get a priority to become professor. It's so. Lotto! <laughs> it's a super lucky chance in the whole human history. So, this is now, I gotta explain why it's wrong. First, it is really harmful to develop their poor potential. Let's imagine. Just a day, just a. <laughs> if they are compared, compete with other superior students, Maybe they will do their best for achieve something that they don't know. Of course, just but reality is, so many people will think them as a one percent, his one percent, one percent student. So they just graduate high school. So they cannot keep the attitude, modesty attitude. It's really hard to keep that up attitude. Even old people sometimes make a mistake by their arrogance attitude. But they are young, they are 20. Maybe it's really harmful to do their best. That's what I'm thinking about. And another reason, second one is, <clears throat> is really, is regard the study, academic study as a, as a tool of being upper class. It's like insurance and it's like a trade. Like it. Uh, uh, we need a high we need a better high school students so, um, but your school is not located in Seoul and your great position is not that high. Well if you can guarantee my career and if you can give a scholarship, maybe I'm gonna think about it. But if you want I can give it to you. Deal! Deal! It's like a trade! Well, it's like a trade. Entering the school shouldn't be trade. Because if, if a study can be the tool, if a study regarded as tool, it's really not good for study. Because we know, we know, we, if we think it's something as a tool, or if we think it as a, our extreme destination, result is really different. We know it. That's the why I disagree about this policy. In conclusion, consequently, we need to abolish 
this damn policy right now. And we need to thinking about how what is really helpful to our students. The one solution can be the solution can be uh, invest to the full time full time professor and thinking about which what kind of curriculum can be motivate the student and how can we teach how can we educate the true value of the study. Thank you for listening.
it will be much happier. After we establish that kind of good thing, students will naturally choose our school. I think that. Thank you.